everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com with part two in our firearms ownership series. And today we're going to be talking about nomenclature as well as cycle of operation for pistols. Words mean things and it's important we are on the same page speaking the same language. So we're going to create a foundational level of understanding with respect to different nomenclature, parts of your pistol, as well as the cycle of operations. This right here is the Sig Sauer P365XL. It is relatively common in that it is a striker fired pistol, meaning it does not have an exposed hammer. As far as nomenclature, a lot of the stuff is the same with any pistol. Right here, we have our grip where we grab the pistol. This top piece along here, which moves, is the slide. Right here is the trigger. This piece around here is our trigger guard. Most pistols right here on the left of the pistol as we're holding it have a magazine release. By depressing that, we can remove our magazine. The magazine release is usually pressed directly in towards the frame of the pistol in order to actuate it. On the side, again, most semi-auto pistols somewhere along here will have a slide stop, slide release, meaning we use that to stop the slide and we can press it to release the slide. On top of our slide, we have our rear sight, our front sight. Right here is our muzzle, tip of the barrel. And over on this side, we have our extractor. Sometimes you will have ambidextrous controls. Again, slide stop, slide release, this being a takedown lever. But you may or may not have those same controls over here, such as slide stop, slide release, or even a magazine release for left-handed shooters. Here are two fairly common other pistols, this one being a high point 9mm, this being a 1911 variant. Little nuance differences, still we have our magazine release here, our trigger guard trigger, this entire top portion of our slide. This one happens to have a external safety right here, which can be manipulated down, at which point that is off safe, back up, it is on safe. Over here, same thing, we have external safety. This one has a external hammer as well. Hammer comes back, at which point you can actually activate that external safety, move it back down. This is also a backstrap safety, unique to 1911s and a couple other pistols, but again, same general overall controls, magazine release, slide stop, slide release, front rear sight or rear and front sight. When it comes to ammunition, it is made up of different components. Right here, we have a brass case. This is a two-part case, this part being brass covered in nickel. And we have our projectiles, and on the back here, right there, we have a primer. The firing pin hits the primer, it ignites, the powder inside here expands, all the gases expand rather, and the projectile goes out, leaves the bullet. That is the only part that comes out the end of your barrel. This part ends up getting ejected out of your pistol. This over here is a plastic inert dummy training round. And when it comes to actual projectiles, number of different varieties. This right here is a piece of lead that is covered in copper. And this right here is actually a solid piece of copper and it's a hollow point. This made for training, whereas this is made for defensive use. When it comes to magazines, different components, right here at the bottom, we have our base plate, this being the magazine body, and then at the top, this is the follower, because when we load rounds, this being a dummy round, we load it into the magazine, this piece is following. Inside here, there's spring creating tension up on the follower, which pushes the rounds up to the top of the magazine, allows the pistol to strip them out when it feeds. Usually somewhere on your magazine, you may have some holes with corresponding numbers telling you how many rounds you have in that magazine if you end up seeing a round behind it. So usually a piece of brass there or there respectively would tell you you had five or 12 rounds in your magazine. When it comes to the cycle of operations, while there may be some nuanced differences, a lot of it remains the same. At the end of the day, we have our magazine right here. I have inert dummy rounds. And our magazine is seated inside of the pistol grip. And a round 
is loaded into the chamber of the barrel. That happens by having the slide come back, strips around, pulls it into the chamber. At that point, whether we have a external hammer like a 1911 or we have a internal striker fired pistol, what happens is the trigger is depressed, it defeats whatever safeties may be in there, such as striker fired pistols that have internal safeties, and it goes all the way back. We have that click. Inside, whether it's a hammer or the striker inside, moves forward, hits the primer on our round, igniting the powder. Powder expands into gases, pushes the projectile out the end of the barrel, at which point, again, this happens very quickly. I am doing it manually for the sake of showing you the operation, but our slide then comes back with the barrel, ejects the brass casing, spent, and slide comes back forward, strips the round off that magazine, loads it back into the chamber, at which point we can go ahead and pull the trigger again. That right there is a brief overview of the nomenclature as well as cycle of operations with a pistol, giving us a fundamental baseline as we move forward and get into manipulation and firing our pistol. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. I'm